Welcome everybody. Welcome back. And I apologize. This video has been uh, it's been a while since I've been telling you guys I've been uh, I was gonna make this video. And today we are going to be talking about La Lune. Uh, this right here is a small piece sent to me by Nicholas Rowland from uh, First Stone. I'm gonna have his uh, website uh, in the description of this video. I'm gonna have his link in there. And this is a very small specimen, but this is perfect for me. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about this particular stone, uh, my experiences with it, uh, and we're gonna be Honing this right here gold dollar that is super beat up uh, but I'm going to be finishing first the progression that I'm currently doing um, so right now we are working with boom you guys can see it a Hayabusa 4000 uh, from uh, Naniwa and after this stone, we're gonna be going to La Lune. So I set the bevel, reset the bevel, and I set the bevel with Chosera 1000. Now I'm doing a 4K, and then we're gonna go to La Lune, right? So before we get into this stone, I want to talk a little bit about it before we start honing with it. And this is a very peculiar stone and I don't say that in a bad way uh, take it how it is uh, it is different from the norm so that's what makes it peculiar for me it's uh I seen some mixed reviews on this but I think this stone is misunderstood uh, I have done oh my goodness uh, about seven or eight racers with this stone and I have gone straight from the 1k to it uh, from the 4k from an 8k I have done from a JNAT I, I mean I and then I've done gold dollars I have done uh, I did a Philharmonica on it I did uh, a couple of German racers um, yeah, so, and, and it took me a while to make this video, and it's because I wanted to make a very good assessment of this particular stone. And I tell you right now, it breaks the mold of what we that been in the community for a little bit uh, honing at, for fun or professionally, if you do it professionally, whatever. Uh, but if you watch my videos, if you watch the videos from Caleb, uh, from Lynn Abrams, from Glenn, uh, whoever, uh, and you see us honing with, let's say, a cuticle or a Belgian blue, uh, this looks like a Belgian blue, but it is not a Belgian blue. It does not cut the same way. Uh, it does not act the same way. And therefore, when you treat it the same way, you might be disappointed because you're, you're not getting the same results. Uh, it, it took me a little bit and I had to bump notes with a colleague, calling colleague and good friend, Caleb McCall. Uh, I'm gonna put his link in the video here uh, of his channel as well he has great content as well uh, so I want you to go check him out if you haven't Caleb is a master when it comes to uh, well, stones but uh, uh, he's he's great when it comes to Arkansas and uh, JNATs and like all stones so we have deducted uh, together by bumping our our thoughts uh, we have very similar findings with his uh, stone and mine. Uh, just gonna wipe this out. I'm gonna bring the stone back in front. I'm gonna talk about it 
that we're gonna hone a little bit on it. So, boom, let's get her wet. <laughs> so this is a new cut Laloon. Um, and I say new cut uh, because these are not the normal Laloons from that were sold you know decades ago coming from Europe this stone is coming from Europe when you order this you, you'll get a package from France um, with this stone but it's it's not a new stone because it's a rock and it takes thousands of years to form anyways right so I love when people is like I like the vintage or the antique stone it's it's it's, not, it's created by earth man they're all created <laughs> over thousands of years uh, I digress so this stone is very peculiar um, it, it is similar to a Belgian blue but it has more of a brown uh, tone to it and I'm gonna slur here up and we're gonna start honing so you guys can see it so right here I have DNT 325 All right, so what I discover is that this stone is really soft. It's, it's really soft. Look at that. Um, so if you don't have an open mind and you see this really soft like this, you're like, oh man, okay, so that, I, I have J-Nats and I have Cotacols and I have Belgian Blues and Turingans and all these stones and when they're this, soft they're usually mid-range or in the low range so I'm gonna hone straight from the 1k into it and that's what I did and I did 1k to this stone I, I did uh, two slurry slurry ups and uh, then I shaved and the shave was actually pretty decent it was quite surprising um, but I discovered something and I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna be doing some circles. Check out how bright that slurry is. If this was a Belgian, a blue, a Belgian blue, uh, or a cortical this slurry will have darkened already with just those passes but it hasn't does it mean that it's not cutting no it, that's not what it means at all it is cutting it just cuts in a very different way so when we were doing me and Caleb uh, some comparisons we noticed that when I went from the 1K to this stone and then to the shave, and I was looking down with a loop at 60X, the, the edge, the face of the edge itself, I can still see scratches. I was like, well, it's not, it's not very effective at erasing scratches, which is what we usually say, right? You just had to erase scratches. Now it's darkening, which is very good. Um, uh, you have to erase all the scratches. And so that is usually the, the, the thought process. Like I said, this is a peculiar stone. So I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to shave with this. Whatever. So I obviously had a backup razor, um, that I was going to shave with. And so, by the way, it's kind of like grippy. This is a, it's, it's a very cool uh, feeling uh, stone. I digress. So I shaved and the shave was pleasant. Like what gives? Like this doesn't make any, any sense uh, at all. But further inspecting the apex, uh, the very edge, not just the faces of the bevel, so not here but here you know there not there I realized that the apex was perfection I mean it was great and 
and I don't have a microscope to take a look at, uh, but I don't think I need it to realize that even though it was not cutting deep like a cuticle would or Belgian blue, it was just refining that edge, that apex where it comes together right there to the point that even though it, the edge itself didn't look refined, the important part, the part that cuts <laughs> was refined. And therefore, I got a really pretty decent shave, man. So what I did next was I did different racers the same way. Why? Because this is made out of pop metal. I mean, this is garbage metal. Sorry, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings, but this is, it, they sell for five bucks, man. Five, eight bucks. It's not good metal. <laughs> so, what it means is that this takes an edge a lot faster than, I don't know, 440C, which is a common metal, or uh, it takes an edge a lot faster than 20 CV or any of the popular metals, right? Um, and that's looking mighty nice. All right. So I'm going to slur here up again. Just because I'm talking and I have some more to say. So I can just home. Put some slurry there. All right. So then I did the same thing with the 4000 after the 4000 i did the same thing and i did about four more razors and i found that after the 4k the shave was a lot better which of course it it was better because the 4k was refining that edge on the sides and this was refining the apex to the point that man it's a very good edge and the other thing that we discover is and that's why I have a very light slurry here is that the thicker the slurry um, which this most of the like Jainas do it cuts different right uh, now after an AK this this is this is a good stone after you can you can take it from from an AK no problems and in no time you have a very nice pleasant edge to shave now if you have come to here i'm going to pause really quick if you have watched this far i commend you you have an opportunity to win this very stone all you have to do is put la loon la space loon l u n e in your comment any comment you can comment a thousand times, it doesn't matter because when I do the giveaway for this stone, um, I, I, it doesn't matter if you put it one time or a bunch of times, I can filter that out. So go ahead and put La Lune in the comments. Any Anything you want, uh, you know, nothing that it will get you, uh, your comment deleted, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we have some manners, right? Uh, and I waited until like minute 13 or whatever to say this just for the people that actually watch the whole video so you can win this. And why you can win this stone, it's just a small stone, but when Roland Nick, uh, Nicholas uh, approached me, you know, he told me, I want, I, would you like to try one of these stones? And I had tried stones for Co before, for Gabriel, for other people. Um, but I asked him, like, I want to buy it from you. He's like, don't buy it. I was like, all right, do you mind if I give it away in the channel? And he said, absolutely. All right? Now, I am not sponsored by him. This is a, a gift to you, the viewers. And he told me straight up, I want you to give... A, the, your honest opinion and assessment of this stone um, tell me how it is if you like it you don't like it it doesn't matter uh, if you like it or you don't like it uh, you can still keep the stone and send it 
in a gift. So that's what we're doing. So remember, the loom. Now, this stone right there, whoo, there you go. At some point, it starts grabbing. When you have very light slurry, it starts like grabbing, kind of like when a J nut reaches its peak. Um, but then you clean it. And then it grabs a little bit and it's, you know, it's grabbing. Nothing too crazy to make me want to stop. And then all of a sudden it feels like soap was put into it and it just glides. Just glides. It's just so awesome. And then I haven't been able to, like, I, I can just stay here doing this. It just refines the edge. Nothing happens. I'm not going to hurt it. Um, and there you go, guys. Now, I prefer from the 4K. I don't know why. I think mentally, I think it gives me a better edge, a, a more natural stone edge than from an 8K. Um, because, you know, a lot of the work was done on this one. Um, but... If you go from the AK to this stone, it will work really good. I don't know the pricing on these. Like I said, I'm gonna put the, the website for this stone. Uh, I am, I, I can totally uh, suggest or I, I like this stone. So who is this stone for? Like if you're looking for a stone and um, you have a giant collection or you know, you have a decent collection of stones and you want to try something new go for it Like I said, I don't know the price So I, I, I can't say if it is worth the price or not because I don't know the price of this particular stone but This is definitely going to challenge you a little bit uh, But now that you have this video you can understand a little bit more as of why it acts the way it acts Look at that. It's like glass right now and that's where that's the sweet spot right there um, boom now he did send me um, some slate another type of stone that he sells in his uh, in his site and it's a gray one it's not a laloon um, and it's very interesting and I'm gonna make a video on that one as well it deserves a separate video and uh, you can use that one to finish as well. Um, but this one right there, super smooth. Look at that. I can, I am barely, look at that. It's just glass. It is so weird, guys. It's a soft stone. It slurries really fast, but yet it cuts, it, it re is refined. The particles in it, the, the cutting media, which is, you know, the, the composition, is just really, really tight. Um, so it doesn't give a lot of scratches to that edge, like that they're deep and messing it up. Uh, for those that have played with a lot of particles, you you, you know that sometimes the, the, the particles would like, you know, make deep deep gouges into uh the blade and when i say deep these are microscopical right it's not deep like it's going to ruin the edge but um uh, sometimes um some of them would do that and right now i have a polish it's i can see myself in it in that edge it's not m like crazy mirror um and it's not like a j knot where it's beat blast so it's completely different. So if you try this stone, I'm not gonna say forget everything you know about stones, but treat it like it is. Uh, it's not a J-net. Don't treat it like a J-net. And it's not a cuticle. So don't have those expectations and you will be fine. Uh, Nicholas, this is good stone, man. Uh, I told you in the text that I liked it. Uh, I'm sorry that it took so long for this review. Guys, he sent me this since before I moved to Japan. Um, he he sent it uh, to my forwarding address in Japan. Uh, but life has been crazy. Life is happening all around me. And uh, I haven't been able, I have uh, nine videos 
that I have to edit and post this uh, post. So I am actually skipping all those nines and giving you this one because I feel really bad that uh, I had this stone uh, for a long time and I haven't delivered it to you guys. I appreciate everybody, appreciate every one of you. I hope you are doing well in this brand new year uh, and you're staying safe out there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Remember that. La Loon. Future me. Put it right there. La Loon. Put it in there. In a future video, we're going to do a giveaway. And I'm going to give away that. This. This little stone. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.